What's up, you guys? I'm back with another vlog. I told you guys I was going to be more consistent, so I'm going to try to be more consistent. As you guys know, I have long tube headers, 1 and 7 8. I have an X pipe, 3 inch piping, and then two SLP mufflers, and it's dumped under my cab. And it sounds good and all, but it's actually like really annoying inside the cab. Uh, you can't really talk in here, and it starts to hit like a weird drone pitch. It kind of makes you feel retarded. So um, today we're going to, if most of you guys, most of you guys should know, uh, Tobete mufflers um, to go get my exhaust changed out. I'm gonna go with two Carbon R series mufflers, and also because I need the space for the the cross member that got built the other day. So we're gonna be doing that today. Uh, we're gonna be doing that today. Um, right now, I'm just going to the bank to try and to pull out some cash. So, I can pay cash, and then we'll be heading out over there. It's about 40 minute drive from here, so it's not too bad. So, I'll update you guys once I'm out of the bank. All right, so we already hit the bank, and we came to get some drinks real quick. Um, and now we're gonna head over. It's about a 35 to 40 minute drive, I believe it was. So, we're gonna jump on the freeway right now. Um, but like I said, we're gonna go get the carbon arm mufflers installed. I hope it makes it a little bit louder and the drone isn't so bad with the side exit exhaust. I'm gonna go with like more of a lightning um, style exhaust um, with polish tips, I believe it was that we said we were gonna end up doing. So I think it'll look good best with that. I think it'll look best with that. So we're gonna be heading over right now and I'll update you guys once we're there. We're finally here at the Bethan Mufflers. I don't know, what, what do you guys think I should do? Should, should I just go for the biggest one I could find? Or should I go for this one? I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna probably go for something like this. Something along the lines of that. I like the polished look. Can't wait for it to get the carbon R. I believe it's gonna be way louder. I hope it is. And the drone goes away. Hopefully. All right, so if you guys need any exhaust work done, you guys are in like the Riverside, i.e. basically somewhere local to Riverside, you guys should come out to the Beth and Mufflers, hit them up, they have good prices, they always got deals going on, they had a deal going on actually recently for uh, 4th of July, I believe, I believe it's still going on today. Um, they do mufflers, headers, they do a little bit of everything, so you guys should definitely hit them up. Follow them on Instagram. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link their uh, Instagram in my bio. You guys should definitely check out their work. Pretty sure most of you guys have heard of them. They're pretty, they're pretty big on Instagram. So you guys should definitely go check them out. This is clean ass Silverado. I don't know whose it is, but we got some headers going on. They do install headers here, and I believe they sell headers here too. But pretty sure they go fast because I saw that they had barely posted that they put some new ones on. Or got some new in for you for you guys to buy. Let's do a little bit of everything. Exhaust, full custom exhaust, electric cutouts. You guys should definitely check them out. Here's their Instagram, and I'm gonna still link it in the bottom. They have all these companies here. Those are actually all the exhausts that they have over there. I'm going for that little bad boy right there. Make that shit a little bit louder. actually kind of cool having a lift. I kind of want a lift one day. Uh, but as you guys know, I have a long tube headers to an X-pipe and then SLP mufflers and then dumped right here. That's basically all I have. I'm going to switch it out for, uh, what's it called? 
carbon R series mufflers and then it's gonna come out the side right here kind of lightning style exactly what I showed you guys over here basically gonna be this obviously individual exhaust tips but it's gonna be this I really like the lightning style and that's what they're gonna do today uh, I'm excited I hope the drone goes away has been probably the most annoying part of all this hopefully the drone goes away and then next is pretty much lowering it I got new wheels for it and should I, should I tell him? Should I tell him? Nah, nah, I shouldn't tell him? Alright. I have big plans for this, so just be ready for that. Alright, no more SLPs. And I believe with the carbon, it's gonna clear this cross member and not rattle, because that shit was kind of getting annoying too. And you guys can see, they're gonna clean it up and they're gonna weld it up. And bam, lightning style finally. Baller ass Raptor. This shit is so clean. This color is nice. Perfect. Not into Fords that much, but a Raptor definitely I wouldn't mind having one. Finally getting the exhaust done. Sounds like said it should be way louder and not drone as bad. That shit has so a like deeper, way. Like a Fuck yeah, phone. it does. Damn. Bro. That shit sounds nice. What the fuck? Sounds like a fucking truck now. Oh, it's just... These tips pretty soon. Damn. That shit's on the floor almost. This shit is gonna look so clean. This shit looks so nice. And it sounds mean. This shit sounds so good. Don't think that the video does it justice. That shit is way louder. Even my friend could vouch for it. 
it is like twice as loud as the SLPs and it sounds way better, a deeper tone. Right now we're gonna drive and hopefully it doesn't drum too much. If you guys, like I said, if you guys are in California uh, and live within two hours or less to uh, Riverside, I would definitely recommend to hit up the bedroom mufflers. Uh, they do basically anything. Install headers for you guys. They could install mufflers, do exhaust tips. They don't do just trucks. They do all types of cars. My friend's bringing down his Q50 either tomorrow or pretty soon. And his dad's bringing the ZL11 LE. So, I'm telling you guys, quality work here. Hit them up. I'm going to have their link in my bio. So, if you guys are... The link to the Instagram in my bio. So if you guys want to ask for prices or anything, you guys should definitely hit them up. Right now we have a, about a 40 minute drive to his house, so we'll see how bad the drone is. I have to go put gas because that shit's almost on empty. Alright, I haven't even drove more than a mile away and the difference is notice I can literally have a conversation now with my passenger which was like impossible before uh, this is probably like my the best thing I've done to this truck like by far definitely hit them up I cannot stop smiling the tone is so different if you guys want the SLP mufflers hit me up if you guys are in the IE area you guys can pick them up what well, I would say like one I say 160 you guys can get them for 160 uh, I'm gonna post them up for 180, but just for you guys watching the videos, I'll get them for I'll sell them for 160. Um, there's two SLP less than a year on the truck. Um, pretty much, pretty brand new. Uh, they would sound good. It's just I wanted a different tone, and I got the tone I wanted. So hit me up if you guys want it. I'm gonna let it go for cheap. I paid probably for the dumps and the muffler like 250. So. Just the mufflers alone was 250 and then the dumps were like another like 30 bucks. So, hit me up if you guys want them, I'm gonna let them go cheap. I don't need them, they're just gonna be chilling at home. But um, I'll update you guys once we're at his house. And I'll show you guys the ZL1. Alright, so do you guys hear that? Cause I don't. I'm so glad that rasp went, or that drone went away. That shit was annoying. It would hit some high pitches where like you would, you would feel dumb. You would feel dumb. Like that's how bad it was. It, it was bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say don't dump it, but don't dump it like my dumb ass did under the cab. Dump it further back so the mufflers get pushed back. It used to be so bad. It used to vibrate my back window like bad. Where it sounded like that shit was gonna break. It, it's bad. So, I wouldn't say don't dump it, but dump it under the bed. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that. My dumbass didn't know that when I first did it. But a year later, finally got the exhaust that I wanted to do. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place, but I'm glad I came to do it. Um, and as you guys could hear, I don't know if in the video you guys could hear, hear how bad the drone was, but the drone is like zero to none right now. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with the work. Really cool guys there. I'll definitely go check them out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna close up the video here or if I'm gonna record a little bit more. But, oh wait, I was gonna show you guys the CL1. That's what I'm gonna show you guys. And then after that, I'll close out the video probably. I might vlog until the night. Um, I might vlog until the night. I don't know, I'm going out tonight, so we'll see. The echo off the walls is so crazy. Uh, you guys don't understand how hyped I am off of this exhaust setup. This shit is perfect. And now I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for a good while, so. I'll update you guys once I'm home. Do a little walk around and show you guys up close what it looks like. Probably close out the video after that, so I'll see you guys once I'm home. Well, I'm back home, you guys. I wanna show you just a little close up of the tips that I chose. Real quick, show you guys how it, it looks. This shit looks badass. Probably one of my favorite setups. I don't know why I did it, didn't do it sooner. Super clean. No more um, drone inside. Sounds way louder than it was before. And it's actually not. It's it's quiet on the low end, but when you op like when you floor it, that's when it opens up and it sounds 
like mean as fuck. Um, I would definitely do this setup. This is probably my favorite setup. If you guys don't know what it is now, it is pay setter one and seven eighths long tube headers to three inch piping X pipe to two carbon R series mufflers with the side exit. Now it's so much better. It's best setup I've. I've heard personally, probably someone else has it out there that I've heard, but I just didn't know what it was. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends, share it to your neighbors, share it to your mom, your dad, your dog, your girlfriend's mom, your boyfriend's mom, whoever it may be, share it to them. Please help me grow the channel. I promise you guys I'm going to be more consistent. Tomorrow I'm recording a whole nother video. Probably will go up four days after this video, uh, just so I, I, I have content for you guys. Um, and after that, it's pretty much the big change in the truck that I keep mentioning. Um, it's going to be something different. It's going to be something I haven't seen done in the truck scene. Um, it's going to be loud. Really loud. Um, but on that note, like and subscribe if you guys haven't. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys hit up my boys over there at Topet and Mufflers. They did a good job. Uh, Flawless work, honestly, way over my expectations. But thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for watching this video, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't judge because I'm super sweaty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, fuck.